welcome back to Savvy Charmed Life. And today we are going to be doing my July monthly setup in my digital planner on GoodNotes. So just to give you guys a little overview of what I'm doing. This is my meal plan for the week. All right, let's get out of the pencil and go to July. Okay, so I am using a planner. If I can get my pencil out. I am using a planner from, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's called the Sunday Lined Rainbow May 21 to 2022. So I got the one that started in May. Um, and I can't, I think it's called the Planner Collective, the Planners Collective. Um, but I will link this specific Good Notes planner below. Um, but so I'm basically doing two um, overviews. So I basically duplicate um, the page for the planner. So like, I'll show you what I do. We go to the here to see all of the pages. Um, so if I go to um, July, so here's July, and then I'll scroll through and get you guys to August, and I'll show you because I need to duplicate August as well. So literally just click on this little like carrot down arrow thing, and I am going to zoom you guys in just a tiny bit so you can see a little better. And then I just hit duplicate, and then I have a second one. So I have one monthly view, for um, bills, and I already did my monthly view set up for July um, for my bills, um, and then put in where our paydays are for July, and I already started writing in our bills, but I haven't finished yet. Um, but this is the view of just like the regular monthly, and what I'm doing with my monthlies what I'm doing with my monthlies is that I'm really kind of doing it as a um, uh, memory plan. So let me show you what I've done with June so far. I posted this on my Instagram already, um, but this was my monthly view for June. And as you can see, I'm just kind of doing like a little highlights. It's not like super important. Um, all of these are links you can go to week one, um, and then you can also go to the day as well, I think, or maybe not. Okay, let's go back to June. Um, but you can click on all of the weeks and go to that week. And then go back to June, week three. This is my week three. Um, today, I think, is the 21st. So we are on week four, which I haven't really written anything on yet. Um, but as you can see, I kind of decorated for that week as well. Um, but yeah, so, but you can also click on a particular day. It's like today is the 21st where I'm doing lots of filming today. Um, but you can go to the actual like daily plan as well, which I haven't really utilized yet because it's summer. I don't have a lot going on, but I think when I get to back to work in August, I will probably be using the daily plan a whole lot more, but we're going to go back to July and we are going to do our plan with me, the monthly setup plan with me for the month of July. Okay. So I ordered some stickers and they are saved in my file box on my iPad. Um, so the whole kit has, hold on, let's go back. The whole kit has um, lots of things in here. Those are the clip art stickers. We have some pages some like boxes and to-do lists and lots of fun this was like a whole kit so just like you would get in a and we have like some weekly trackers here which I could add as well habit trackers water trackers lists um so they literally have like everything that you could need like actually more than what you would get in a uh, I think I was already in page six wasn't I um, even more so than what you would get in a sticker kit 
just so many things. Um, I'm just kind of giving you guys a little overview of all the things that came in this kit that I got, which I will link below. I found it on Etsy. Um, these are some washies. And these are date dots, which I'm contemplating using. We'll see. I feel like it'll be a little more tedious. Um, and then these are the months of the year as well. I also got a more patriotic themed kit as well, but I'm kind of leaning towards the nautical theme. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, this is the clip art for the uh, 4th of July actual like farmhouse kind of country theme. Um, I also purchased this one. There's less in this kit um, than the other one. But like I said, I'm kind of leaning towards using this nautical theme, which is also red, white, and blue, but just a little not as like in your face patriotic, if that makes any sense. So I think what I'm going to start with first is, um, I think I'm going to start by uh, covering up July here. So first, let's find, where isn't the months in here? Yeah. All right. Maybe we'll do Navy. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold it down and hit copy. Sometimes it doesn't always copy when I do that. So we'll see. And then I hold it down here and hit paste. Awesome. And then you just pinch to zoom like so, and then just cover it where you want it to be. Perfect. Like that. All right, and then I think I'm gonna look at the washies. Let's go back and look at the washi tapes, which was in one of these, right? Here's the washi. Maybe to be slightly more patriotic, we'll go with this one. So, once again, copy. This is from when you have it open view. Paste. I think I'll put one washi tape uh, maybe here um, and then like a second one like a smaller one maybe we'll do this one copy paste and I'm gonna make it a little smaller and kind of overlap it like that okay and then yeah okay and then I'm gonna use a piece of clip art and put that like right here next to July so let's go back to the clip art stickers and pick one hmm. let's do maybe the bag or maybe I should hmm I'm like back and forth about whether to use these or not. I just got these and then I feel like they were like two country. I know that doesn't make any sense, but you know, I think I'm gonna overlap some fireworks. But I do really love the bunting there and the bicycle and I like the barn too. You know what, I feel like it's not, I think this is the problem. Sometimes it doesn't like copy. Okay. So I'm gonna paste this firework here and put that there. Or maybe I'm gonna put the fireworks there and then overlap with Maybe we'll do another firework. Copy. And make this one go like. Actually, no, I think I want like that one there. And then we'll click out of it and edit this one and move this one like there. And then put something from the other kit. Layered. Let's see. 
Let's do the ship. It's definitely red, white, and bluey. Okay, if that's a word. Like that. Okay. All right, and then they also had like a notes one in there somewhere. So let's look for that. Let's see. They have all of these like side note things. The lists. But maybe I'll layer it just like you would in an Erin Condren. Let's do that. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? Or maybe not. You know what? We'll just do the. We'll just cover up the. Uh, with the notes. Let's do the red. Maybe there. I just want it to be perfect, you know? Okay. I think that's perfect. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do our day covers. Just color it. Like so. Kind of like white out. Do you think that'll work? I'm going to try the brush pen and see if it like covers a little easier. I think that'll work. Oh, look at that. So, white out. It's basically white out. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. And now we'll go back to here. And I think I still want to alternate, so I think I'm going to go to this one. And do the dates in here so we'll do Sunday still it's probably the same thing I copied before but we'll still copy it okay Sunday And then the question is, do I want to do date dolls? I really don't know. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I think I'm going to add some washi tape here and then put in some deco, extra deco. All right, so let's go back and find the washi tapes. do is, as we will add some deco. Okay. I think I'm going to do this one. It's really cute. And I also think I'm going to incorporate that bike as well. So I'm going to do that bicycle as well. This one seems to fit like right here pretty well. And then I'm gonna go grab that bicycle from the other kit. Okay, I really think the bicycle is very, very cute. It kind of fits in a little bit too. I think I'm gonna put the bike like right there. 
And then I think I want to add a little bit of deco at the bottom of this um, note as well. So let's see. Let's go back to the nautical clip art. I think I'm gonna try to use more of these like when uh, I think I'm gonna go back to the when I do my weeklies as well like me I think I'm gonna go more patriotic on the 4th of July week um, week at a glance and then be more nautical like on the beach trip week if that makes you know if that makes sense so I'm kind of that's why I'm kind of incorporating both because I want it to be patriotic but also, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this bunting here. Um, but also nautical because it's 4th of July, but I'm also going to the beach in July. So, all right, so the question is, is would it look better here? Yeah, I think it would. All right, let's do the bunting right there. Actually, I don't think it's perfectly straight. Let's zoom in a bit. I'll try to get this nice and straight. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so the only other thing I would do at this point would be, I do think I'm gonna add something here because I do know I'm going to see family on 4th of July, but other than that, I don't really have anything to fill in right now. I do have the week that will be on vacation. Maybe I'll do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in I think I don't want to deal with the tediousness of doing each individual date dot. So I'm just going to leave the dates as they are. I'm going to add something here for 4th of July. And then I'm going to add some washi tape for the week that we're at the beach. So let's do full, let's just do the 4th of, happy 4th of July quote to go on 4th of July. And then I'm going to go back and look at the nautical washi tapes, which I keep forgetting where it is. This is where it is. Okay. I think I'm going to do, you know, let's do the long washi that's light blue for like water, but with the, um, uh, anchors because it kind of fits in with the rest of the theme um, and I'm going to kind of shorten it to put it here and then paste it here as well because we leave on Sunday and come back on Saturday. Okay. I think that's right. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think that is all that I'm going to do for this today's plan with me. I think I'll probably go in, like I said, and fill in my um, things that I'm doing for um, like my memory planning. So when I know what I'm doing or have done on Thursday the 1st, I'll like put something in there just like I showed you for June. This is what my June kind of memory plan looks like so far. Um, just putting little notes about what I'm doing that day. Um, or, you know, something exciting I did that day or whatever was going on. Um, so it's really just kind of a little bit of a memory plan. Um, and that's what will be here in July as well. Um, 
Again, I will link below the um, Good Notes planner that I'm using from the Planners Collective, as well as I will link below the Etsy shop, which I've forgotten the name of, but the Etsy shop that I got these two kits that I'm using in conjunction together for the for, for the month of July as well. So. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I hope you loved this new digital plan with me that I'm doing. I'm having a lot of fun with it. The only other thing I forgot to tell you again, of course, as far as supplies is, is this is a new iPad 4, iPad Air 4, I believe that I'm using. I'm using the GoodNotes app, um, as well as a PDF planner that I bought on Etsy. I'm using an Apple Pencil and I did purchase the um, paper like, I think is what's called, um, a screen protector that makes it feel a little bit more like paper when you're writing with Apple Pencil. So those are pretty much all of the um, uh, materials that I'm using for the digital planning. So um, if you loved this digital plan with me, um, if you love digital planning, if you love planners in general, all things stationary and planner related, then please, of course, hit that like button. It would mean the world to me. And if you would like to see more plan with me's like this, I still do bullet journal paper planning, um, for my collections and my journaling and travel journaling, um, then, uh, so you'll still be able to see that as well as a little bit of just general like lifestyle vlogging that I'm starting to do as well. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, then I would love to welcome you to this Savvy Charmed Life family. So please hit that subscribe button as well. And, um, I can't wait to see you guys next time. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm.